Today, we're gonna to talk about how to prepare to lead worship. Let's go. What's going on fam? My name is Michael and I help worship leaders grow spiritually and practically so that they can lead worship more effectively. And again, today we're going to talk about how to prepare to lead worship as a worship leader. But before we get started, I want to give you my worship leader checklist. This checklist has 10 tips to help you lead worship more effectively. All you got to do is go to my website, michaeleagle.com slash worship leader checklist and get this checklist absolutely free. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified anytime I drop a weekly video. Also, too, I had people to ask me about merch. I do have various shirts. Let me scoop back so you can see. But I do have various merch that you can look in the show notes, look in the description and see the link to get access to the merch that I have dropped. All right, let's jump into today's video. How to prepare to lead worship as a worship leader. I'm going to answer this three different ways. We're going to answer it spiritually, musically, and physically. All right, you ready? Let's go. The first one is always going to be spiritually. You need to spend time in the presence of God. I want to read a scripture for you really quick. Um, Psalms 24, 3 and 4, very familiar passage. I know you know it. Who may ascend to the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. Now, the reason why I want to bring up this scripture is because of the clean hands and a pure heart. Many times when people prepare for worship, they don't think about actually cleaning their hearts and cleaning their hands. They don't think about repenting. They don't think about um, making sure that there is no alts, making sure that there's no unforgiveness. Because the Bible also tells us that if there's any unforgiveness, if you know that your brother has an alt or any unforgiveness towards you, that you need to leave your gift at the altar, be reconciled with your brother, then come back. So a lot of people don't think that that is a part of preparing to lead worship. You need to have a clean hand and a clean heart. All right. So you want to make sure you're spending time in the presence of God. You want to make sure that you're repenting, living a life uh, that is pleasing to God, which means living a sacrificial life, which means uh, trying your best to avoid sin, uh, making sure that you, again, have no unforgiveness in your heart. All of these things play a major role when you are preparing to lead worship. So you know what you want to do? You want to get to church early. You want to get on the altar. You want to get there in enough time where you can pray, where you can worship. You want to clean your heart and your hands before you jump into leading worship. We're going to get back to the video, but I had to stop and let you know that I've released my first book called The Art of Leading Worship. This book is a roadmap to worship leaders, taking you and giving you everything that you need to know to lead worship and lead encounters with God powerfully. I pack so much information into this that anyone will be blessed to read it. Go to the link below and get yours copy today. The next thing you need to do, we're jumping to this musically. The first thing you need to do is plan, plan, plan. You want to make sure that you have your set list set up. You want to make sure that the team knows the music. You want to make sure that you guys have had a successful rehearsal. You want to make sure that you are uh, uh, have everything that you need to have a musical, successful worship set. That means sound checking. Uh, that means testing every mic, testing every monitor, talking to the sound team. You want to do all of the musical things to prepare to lead worship. And I know this sounds so mundane and so easy, but you would be surprised how many people are not doing successful sound checks, how many people are not rehearsing uh, all of the material that they are leading for Sunday. Then you would be surprised how many people are sending set lists out the night before, they're not planning ahead. Like you need to plan, plan, plan musically, all right? 
The third thing that you need to do is physically, physically worship leading, uh, worship in general is body movement. The Bible tells us to clap our hands, to shout unto God, to bow down before him, to lift our hands. The Bible gives us body movement to do for worship. So as a worship leader, you want to make sure that you are moving this body. Exercise is a part of preparing yourself for worship, making sure that you are, uh, 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 that your stamina and your endurance, that you can handle what all it takes to lead worship. You know, um, there was some years back where I would try to lead worship and I was out of breath, man. And I had to go back and get this temple together, get this body together so that I can give God my best while I'm leading worship. And then you also need to warm up. This is something that I am super guilty of. Sometimes I might uh, get out of my car or get from my house and go straight to church and forget to warm up. But oh, I am always uh, mad at myself when we start to sing. And I said, man, I should have warmed up. So make sure that you are warming up. And you can go right here on YouTube and search vocal warm-ups. You want to do vocal warm-ups before you get to church, maybe when you're driving, maybe when you first get there early. You want to make sure that you're doing things physically to make sure that you are prepared to lead worship. So you need to do things spiritually, which is clean hands and a pure heart. You need to do things musically, which is plan and make sure that you have all of the things, uh, uh, as many of the T's crossed and many of the I's dotted. And then physically, you want to work out. You want to do vocal warmups. You want to get this body prepared to lead worship. I hope this video has blessed you. Don't forget to go ahead and get my worship leader checklist. Again, you can go to my website, michaelegoolcom slash worship leader checklist and get it free. Hit that like button if this video blessed you today and I'll see you where in the next video. Love you.